Uh, yesterday, on front page, we showed you how OpenAI quietly re-architected the internet's checkout button, turning ChatGPT into an Amazon killer with instant checkout. And today, well, they have gone even bigger. OpenAI has just entered social media with Sora 2 and a brand new app that looks like Instagram, except instead of selfies and uh, filters, it's an AI video feed where you can star in any scene. This is being called the chat GPT moment for social media. And as for the internet, well, already losing its mind. Let's dive in. Sora 2 is a physics aware world simulator. Old models fumbled reality balls teleporting into hoops. People morphing through walls. Sora 2 well, it nails rebounds, buoyancy, even triple axles while a cat clings on for dear life. And then comes the app. Swipeable TikTok style feed. Remix anyone's video. And the viral kicker, cameos. Record yourself once and suddenly you can drop into any AI generated scene from dragon slaying to well, Vogue runways. This is a new reality engine. The reactions, well, that's what you're asking. Predictably chaotic. On Reddit, these were some of the comments. GPUs are melting. Is video evidence even real anymore? Another one asks, crossing a threshold. Sam Altman himself said this. This feels like the chat GPT for creativity moment, end quote. But unlike TikTok's doom scroll feed, OpenAI insists Sora is built to maximize creation, not consumption. Well, you don't just watch, you make. And that flips the script on its head. Instead of fighting for your attention, OpenAI is fighting for your imagination. And Mark Zuckerberg is definitely not smiling. This might just be Sam Altman's way of taking revenge. Remember, Meta has been on a hiring spree, dangling 100 million plus dollars offers to lure OpenAI staff into Zuckerberg's super intelligence team. Well, they even poached Apple's top AI scientist with a 200 million dollar package, more than Tim Cook's salary. Sam didn't take that lightly. And now, instead of suing, he's actually building an Instagram killer powered by Sora 2. That's not just product innovation, that's payback disguised as platform disruption. Or it might also actually backfire and might poach again. Who knows? Well, as for the timing is concerned, it is ruthless. Just two days ago, Meta launched Vibes, its AI video feed inside Instagram. Google dropped VEO3 wired straight into YouTube shorts. But OpenAI, well, they skipped the middlemen. They didn't just build the model, they built the platform. This isn't just an upgrade, this is the start of the video wars of 2025. Meta Vibes is equal to dis distribution muscle. Google VEO3 is equal to speed and shorts. OpenAI Sora 2 is equal to, get ready for it, physics, realism and social creativity. Whoever wins, well, doesn't just own video, they own the future of culture online. This is not still live in India. Well, that's as of yet. But when it drops, it hits Insta. You know, every digital era has had its medium. Let's go back. Facebook was equal to photos. Instagram is equal to filters. TikTok is equal to short form video. Sora is equal to AI generated worlds. And just like with commerce, yesterday, there's one big catch. India, OpenAI's second largest chat GPT market doesn't have access yet. When it does, it won't just clash with Instagram. It'll actually hit Flipkart, Misho, Nika, Ajio, Blinkit, Big Basket. Because the same AI that stars you in the videos, well, can also sell you things inside of them. From chat to checkout, yesterday to create to commerce today. So is this the end of Instagram or the beginning 
of an AI native internet where social shopping and storytelling collapse into one. Either way, OpenAI just went from powering the apps to becoming the app. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thank you.